Our story today comes from the Bible and it's from a book in the Bible in the New Testament so it's quite close to the back of the Bible. It's from a book called Galatians. Now Galatians is another letter. We already heard about one of the letters in the Bible a few weeks ago when we talked about a letter to the church in Corinth but this letter is to the churches in Galatia. So it's a different letter. I wonder what it will say. It's a letter that's written by the same person that wrote the letter to the church in Corinth. It's written by Paul. Now Paul was a follower of Jesus and you might remember but he traveled all over the place and everywhere he went he told people about the good news of Jesus. And one of the places he'd been was to Galatia. So he'd met the people that he was writing to and then he travelled on somewhere new. But he'd heard that things weren't going very well for the Galatians. He'd heard that they were fighting and arguing and that there were problems in the church. So he was worried about them and that is why he wrote this letter. Let's see what it says. Not going to hear all of the letter today because it's quite long so we're just going to read some of it. It says it's from Paul, an apostle sent by Jesus Christ and God the Father to the churches in Galatia. He starts with a bit of a prayer. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins to rescue us according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Now this is what he had to say. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom as an excuse to do the things that please your sinful self. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. The whole law is made complete in this one command. Love your neighbour as yourself. If you go on hurting each other and tearing each other apart, be careful. You will completely destroy each other. So I tell you, live by following the Spirit. And the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. And then he ends the letter like this. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. I wonder, what does it mean to be free? What do you think? Maybe it's about being able to do whatever we want, or to say whatever we want, or to go wherever we want to. But actually, to be truly free, we also need to make good choices. God has given us freedom which is amazing. Freedom to choose what we do and what we say and freedom to choose whether we follow him. Now the Bible is full of ideas and information about how to make good choices and how to live life well. And this letter that we read today has got lots of information and ideas about freedom. Now if you remember this letter was written to the church in Galatia and they were not making very good choices. They got some things wrong, they were fighting and arguing and so this letter was written to them. But I think that actually we can all get things wrong sometimes. We can all make the wrong choice. And so the message in this letter 
is not just for the Galatians, but maybe it's also for us. It tells us some things about freedom. It reminds us that just because we are free, that doesn't mean that we should use our freedom to be selfish and just to do only what we want all of the time. Instead, we should choose to serve other people. And it says we should serve other people humbly with love. That means not in a showing off sort of a way or a way that makes us think that we're more important than other people, but being humble and doing it because we care for other people, because we love other people. The letter even reminds us that of all of the commands in the Bible, of all of the things that God tells us to do, to live a good and full life, the most important one, we might have heard it before, talked about as the, one of the greatest commandments, is to love your neighbour as yourself. And that's what it means when we say to serve other people, to be humble, to serve them in love. It's about loving your neighbour as yourself. And it reminds us that if we don't do that, if we fight and we argue and we're selfish, that actually things are not going to end very well. But how do we do it? How do we make good choices? How do we know what to do? It gives us an idea about that too. Paul says, live by following the Spirit means the Holy Spirit. We heard more about the Holy Spirit last week when we celebrated Pentecost, which was when the Holy Spirit was poured out onto all of Jesus' friends and his followers. They were baptised in the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is part of God. Did you know today is actually called Trinity Sunday? And it's a day when we remember that God, one God, is made up of three persons, God the Father, God the Son, that's Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. Three persons, one God. And all three are in this letter. And it's the Holy Spirit that we can ask for help, help to make good decisions, to make right choices. And how will we know if we're doing that, if we're living by following the Spirit? Well, the clue is in the fruit. It's a bit strange that it talks about fruit. But the fruits of the Spirit will grow the more that we follow and listen to the Holy Spirit. The more that we make these good choices, the more these fruits will grow in our lives. I wonder if you can remember any of them. The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. The Holy Spirit can help us with all of these things and can teach us how to make good decisions and good choices. I wonder which of these fruits we might see in our own lives. I wonder if we can help them grow, if we can ask the Holy Spirit to come and fill us up and help us to make good choices and to grow these new fruits in our lives. As we've been thinking about the fruits of the Spirit, I've got some real fruit here. Look at it, all those lovely colours. I wonder if you've got some fruit at home that you could choose. Or maybe you could choose to draw some fruit. What's your favourite fruit? I'm going to choose this raspberry here. And as we get ready to pray, I'm just going to take a moment to be still. And to focus on the fruit. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? You might want to taste your fruit. Think
think about how good this fruit is. Fruit is a very good choice. What a good choice you made. Now, let us think about the different choices that we make each day and ask Jesus to help us. First, we're going to think about how good it is to choose to be a loving person. Lord Jesus, would you help us to be loving? Next, we're going to think about joy. Think about how good it is to choose to be joyful, to bring joy and to share joy with others. Lord Jesus, would you help us to be joyful? And then we're going to think about peace. Think about any situations you know that really need peace. Lord Jesus, would you help us to be peacemakers? Loving Lord Jesus, teach us to make the right choices. Help us to be loving, joyful, peaceful, gentle, kind, generous, patient, self-controlled and faithful. Let us be so full of the fruits of your spirit that we bring joy to you and make the world a happier place for everyone. Amen. If you like, you could keep praying for more of the fruits of the spirit. I wonder what other prayers you will come up with. Enjoy your fruit, enjoy your good choice. This week we've been thinking about how to make good choices. And so we're going to make something today that's going to help us, give us some ideas of some of the good choices we can make, how we can serve others humbly in love. Just as it said, ways that we can love our neighbour. So what you're going to need is a square piece of paper and some different coloured pens or pencils. And we're going to start with some folding. So watch carefully. We're going to start by folding one corner across diagonally to the other corner. So we're making a big triangle. We're going to match corner to corner, edge to edge, and then we're going to press it down just like that. And then we're going to open it back up again. And we're going to go the same thing the other way, so choose the other corner where you can already see the line of the fold and go along that line and match corner to corner, edge to edge and then press it down to make a line. So this time when you open it you should see four triangles and we're going to take each corner and fold it into the middle, so into the centre point there where the triangles meet. Put the corner into there and then press it down. I'm going to turn it around to do the next one. Put the corner into the middle, press it down and keep going until all four corners are folded. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the triangles with the little flaps that come up there. And we're going to turn the whole thing over. So it's just a plain square and you can see four squares. I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to take the corner, fold it into the centre and press it down. And do the same with the other four corners. Fold it in and press it down. Okay, so now I'm going to just do an extra fold, fold it over in half and open it up and then fold it the other way in half and open it up. Okay, now this is a bit of the tricky bit so you might have to watch carefully because you want to open up these flaps like that. So you can, you can do that by just putting your finger in 
wiggle your finger in there to open up these four. And as you open them up, and if you put a finger and thumb in one side and a finger and a thumb in the other side, then as you open it, you can make a, a shape a bit like that. It looks like this on the other side. And you can use your fingers and your thumbs to move it about. This is how we're going to make our choices. Okay, so you should have something that looks a bit like that. And now it's time to decorate it. So I'm going to make it flat again to make it easier to decorate. And I'm going to start by turning it over. And on these four squares, I'm going to choose to do each one a different colour. I'm going to turn it over and on each of these triangles I'm going to draw something different because we've been thinking about fruits today I'm going to draw a different fruit on each of these spaces. Okay, so I've drawn my fruit and now I'm going to open up each side and in the space underneath I'm going to write something different in each of these spaces, an idea of some way that I could love my neighbour or serve other people. Maybe I'm going to think about the fruits of the spirit, what could I do? Now we're going to fold these back in again, fold them up, fold them up, hide them away. I'm going to turn it over and use my finger, my thumb to pinch them together. And now my good choice maker is ready to go. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how we can use this to help us to make good choices. So I'm going to start by choosing a colour. I'm going to choose red and I'm going to spell it out. Okay, so now I can choose a fruit. So I've got the choice of an orange, raspberry, blueberry or apple. I'm going to choose apple and apple has five letters. Okay, now I'm going to look inside and choose a different fruit. Could be a pear, a banana, a strawberry, or a grape. And I'm going to choose a grape. So I'm going to open it up and see what it says underneath. And that's what I should do. Tell a joke. I could tell a joke to somebody to bring them some joy. So that's my idea for how I can love my neighbour today. I wonder what yours will say. I wonder what choice you'll make. Give it a try. See what happens. Have you got a problem? Have you got an issue? What is your problem? What is your issue? Have you got a problem? Have you got an issue? What is your problem? Have you got a problem? Have you got an issue? What is your problem? What is your issue? Have you got a problem? Have you got an issue? What is your problem? Let go, 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 let
got an issue? What is your problem? What is your issue? Have you got a problem? Have you got an issue? What is your problem? Have you got a problem? Have you got an issue? What is your problem? What is your issue? Have you got a problem? Have you got an issue? What is your problem? Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. 